We're standing outside Florida's death row for men, where Gary Ray Bowles, a serial killer convicted of killing six men, is going to give me his final exclusive interview before he's executed. Tell me how you killed him. It's like a, like a glass vase. Yes. And I bit off, cracked him across the skull with that. And he fell across a big glass table. And uh, I just went to beating him. How many minutes afterwards, after you killed him, did you realize what you'd done? I mean, the house of the mess that you got a dead guy right Oh, it was probably him. a couple minutes at, you know, I, after I, once I was done, my life's completely over with now. I, I just knew at that time that my life was over with. The way I analyze these people that kill, the way I get to the truth, is I travel into their minds and their souls in a very human way. We kind of got into an argument, got into a fight. I mean, a fist fight. And he had a shotgun that he kept by the door. And I grabbed that gun he had by the door and shot him with the shotgun. I think the reason why killers are drawn to me is very similar to why regular people are drawn to me. I'm, I'm a very good listener. Typical or not, I never, this is not the life I planned. I just kind of went insane for a temporary period there, you know? It's like all the murders were different, like I said. The, the last guy I killed, I smashed his head in with a stone. I am willing to go out in the field. I am willing to walk through dirty rivers. I am willing to go into prisons. I am willing to climb mountains to get to the truth. Mr. Torkison, I need you to go down to the Mad River by the, the ready mix plant. And as you go down the trail, you go off to your right, and you look for a, like a two foot square piece of concrete. And it should, be, it should be close to the surface. If not, you're not going to find it anyway. But if you find something, dig under it and see if you can find uh, what you're looking for if it's a head. I don't want to leave a stone unturned. I want to talk to everyone because everybody is pertinent to the case. He, he, his face went from night to day. When I said, the second I said no, it was total different. Total psychopath. I think serial killers are very different to any other kind of killer. They like to take trophies, keep body parts. They know what they're doing, they're premeditated, they don't usually have any guilt feelings afterwards. They don't have remorse for the victims. They don't have any conscience for their victims, or they wouldn't have killed them in the first place. What do you think you're gonna say for your final words? Well, for my final words, I'd probably say that I'm sorry for, you know, I'm sorry to all the families of the people I killed, and I hope by me being executed that they can find peace, and, and I hope I get to see my mom beforehand, you know? If you had to pick somebody. To be there at the end? Yeah. Well, I'd like for you to be there. I will be, for sure. If anyone on earth can find the human side of a killer, it will be me. And I've done it time and time again, and I'll continue to do it. Because by getting to that human side, you'll get the truth.